What's going on guys, my name is Will Walker and today I wanted to introduce a new series called Two Minute Tool Tip and specifically we're talking about card scrapers. So I feel like people are afraid of hand tools or like you have to be part of some club or something to use them. But in actuality, uh, hand tools can make your life so much easier. So the card scraper is by far my favorite tool uh, for surfacing, say, a tabletop. Okay, so here we have this big bookmatched walnut tabletop that I'm working on for a friend and it needs to be surfaced. So I went through and actually everything is sanded to 120 grit, uh, but instead of taking a lot of time to go up to either 180 grit or 220 grit, I'm gonna hit it with a card scraper because it's that much faster. Let me show you what I mean. So now that we have a base of what we're talking about, let me show you how to set up a card scraper. This one I have sharpened and this one is straight out of the uh, the bag. Uh, card scrapers are stupid cheap and it just takes a few tools to get you kind of up and running. So what you're going to need is a file, uh, some sort of sharpening plate, diamond stone, water stone, something like that, and a burnisher. All right, to understand how a card scraper works, we need to do a little art. So if you look at the profile of the card scraper unsharpened, it would look like that. Uh, it's just square, right? This is just the thickness of the metal with no edge. Now, when you use a burnisher, a burnisher is just a steel that is harder than the steel that the card scraper is made out of. And as you burnish that edge, uh, the steel actually kind of mushrooms out. So it's actually getting pushed out like that. And then as you turn the burnisher and burnish more, you're actually rolling this edge. And that is what is making the cutting or the shaving with the card scraper. And so what's great about a card scraper is once you sharpen uh, both sides, you actually have one, two, and then three, four cutting edges. Uh, so as one gets dull, you just turn it or flip the card. All right, back to it. Okay, with any new card scraper, I start at my vise with a file. Uh, if you don't have a file, get one because they are awesome all around the shop. So what I do is, I reference it on the top and I put my fingers uh, kind of against it. You could also use a saw vise, uh, but this works um, pretty easy for anybody just doing it like me. Uh, so then I am basically jointing the edge to make sure that there are no dips or valleys or teeth, if you will. Doesn't take much. And then at my diamond plate or whetstone or sandpaper, fill in your sharpening method here. Um, I'm going to polish all the edges and remove any burr that was already on there. Um, so I just start with a little glass cleaner. Pick it up. Okay, now here uh, you could do it freehand like this, or what I like to do is just take a block that I know has a 90 degree corner. Uh, this is just a piece of scrap maple, uh, and I put it right on my plate and then I reference my card against that. So I know that this is sitting 90 degrees to my diamond plate. That feels good. And one more time. Okay, now that everything is cleaned up and polished edges, it's time to actually roll a hook. So in the vise, I put it in there like that. Uh, I take my burnisher and I just run it perpendicular to 
the edge here to start getting that mushroom of, of metal and then I'll start leaning it one way and then the other. It doesn't take very long. I might do 10 to 15 strokes uh, at moderate pressure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, and start rolling it. And I can feel a really good edge. So now I take it from here and I can go check it over there. So hopefully I put a pretty good edge on it. Let's see. All right, that's that side. And that's that side. All right, guys, that's it for this two minute tool tip. I hope that you learned how to set up a card scraper and I hope you see the benefits of them. Uh, this by no means replaces a sander in my shop. Obviously, I'm gonna use my sanders um, for lots of other things, but if you have to surface like a big tabletop like this quickly, uh, these little things are, are really, really valuable in my shop. So uh, until next time, guys, I'm Will Walker. This is the William Walker Company Project channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button. Uh, ring the bell if you want to get notified of more videos. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get back to work. See you guys soon.